Now that we understand how Pusha works, let's go ahead and look at our notification class. So we have a new friend request class, and this use is queuable, meaning we are going to be able to queue these notifications to speed up our application. And we can use the constructor to actually inject dependencies into this class. And we have a via method, and this via method simply determines what channels we are going to be using to broadcast our notifications. And right here, we're going to precise that we want to broadcast using the broadcast channel, which is in real time. And the next we want to use is the database. So we're going to have database, we're going to have broadcast, and we're going to have mail. The next method is the to mail. And this to mail is actually the method in charge of broadcasting to the mail channel. So our email is going to be formed right here, and it's going to use a pre created template in Laravel for us to send the notification. The next thing is our to arrays method. So this to array method has two responsibilities. It returns an array of data and this data is going to be sent with our broadcast driver and it's also going to be stored in our database. Now if you want this data to be different for both cases, then you have to define a new method called to broadcast. So the to broadcast data is going to go in the request and the to array is going to go to the database. So now, how do we call this notification? We'll go back, back to our friendships controller and right here, rather than returning user at friend, what we're going to do is store the response. So, so user add user friend. So once we add a friend, the next thing we have to do is actually notify this friend that he's been added. So we'll find that friend in the database. So we'll find him using the ID that was passed into our add friend method and we would notify the friend that someone sent you a friend request and how do we do this we just get a new instance of that notification that we created which is in the app notifications new friend request and this is the class that we created so right here we are going to pass in some data to the construct of this class and the data that we are going to be passing in is the user who actually is adding this user as a friend so we are going to say pass in the authenticated user into this so we'll get the authenticated user and we pass into our function and as soon as we send the notification we'll send we'll return the response so we return the response of this action which is this variable right here so first of all we find the user who is being added as a friend, who is receiving the friend request. We get the user. As soon as we get the user, we notify that user using Laravel's notify function. And we, and we notify that user a new instance of the new friend request. Once we notify, we pass in the authenticated user's data into this class. So the next thing we have to do is actually change our class to the snakes. So right here, we're going to receive that user that we passed in. In our construct, we'll have a user variable. And right here, we're going to say this user, which is a public property we're going to create in a moment, equals user. So right here, we're going to create a, a public property, and this is going to be public user. So right now, we're going to use this user's data to form our notification. So first of all, let's take care of the mail browser, of the mail driver. So the mail driver is simply going to take a message that we set in. So we say, you received a new friend request from and right here we're gonna add or we're gonna concatenate the user which is this user and we're gonna get his name so right here we'll get the user's name and we're gonna attach it to this message we're trying to pass through so we receive a new friend request from this username and the next thing will be the action button so we'll just go ahead and say view the user's profile so view profile and this it's also this is going to be the link that is going to be in this action button so we'll go ahead and call a route and this route remember for the profile is the profile route and we'll go ahead and say slog remember this slog is a parameter for this route in our web route we have a route called profile and right here we're also receiving the slog and we have to pass in the slog for that user so we'll say this user and we'll say slog so now the next thing we can just say thank you for using our application okay so we can say thank you for using our social network however it may please you so net work okay so now that we're done with the mail driver as soon as we send this notification we'll receive an email in mail trap which we can check out now the next is the data that is going to be broadcast to our front end 
now we can either separate the data that will be broadcast to our front end from the one that will be saved in our database or we can just go ahead and do them together in the two array method which we are in this case so we're gonna say return this and we'll say name and this name would be this user name and then the message would be a standard message or I would say this user sent you a friend request okay so I think that message looks great so we concatenate the name of the user who is sending the friend request to this string right here and what we can also do is actually send the time or timestamp when when this notification was broadcast but we can go ahead and just leave this leave this at that so we successfully set up our notification in the next video we'll actually take care of our front end so that we can listen to this channel